Sorry, boss. First world problems, Danny. Besides, I've been well taken care of. It's gone in your favour, then? Well, that's one way to put it. Uh, I should be OK for a year or so. Well, like you once said, winners and losers. <sighs> Listen, one thing I will say about the company is they've got a good track record of appointing the right people. Uh, maybe, it just seems a bit like we're moving in the wrong direction. The branch closure's been difficult for everybody. But you've still got your job. It seems all a bit short term to me. <sighs> Listen, when are those interviews? Friday, I think. You think? I take it you didn't apply. You joking? All the experience you've got. Really? I mean, you might regret that. Only if Aiden gets a job. Hmm. Yeah, right, okay. Listen, no need to prolong this, yeah? Do you know what? I heard they got a six figure sum. Doubt it, man. I'm not to be fair with that smug look he had in his face, you never know. Mm, true. Ah, good luck to him anyway, man. What's the verdict anyway? What did the high hygiene have to say? The, the, the high hygiene just stared at me for about 10 15 minutes and started going like, meh, 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 we are lips moving and stuff like that, and their eyeballs. I didn't really pay attention to what she was saying. Uh, short calls are the drone. <laughs> yeah, shut that voice, Danny. Yes, Danny. Yes, he did. I like the fact that as soon as she takes off, she instantly crashes into something. I love how she just floats about with that Merc that probably costs more than her house and starts talking about savings. I'd hate to think about what the leasing that costs. Be more. I'd have one as well if I was one. Sit in your face because you're an embarrassment, Daddy. Be more. Because the more. That was a joke, mate. That's the joke, Daddy. That's the joke. How was the interview? I mean, uh, aye. The, the interview went alright. Like, I knew what I was talking about this time round, but yeah, it was alright. Do you recognise anyone else who was there? Apart from that girl from the Livy branch, no, I didn't see anybody else. It was all externals. Fiona? Yeah, Fiona, man, yeah. She's hardly a girl, mate. She's the same age as you. Besides, she's got a kid. A kid? A ki she's got a kid. I've got a ma I've got a master's in Nordic mythology. I sure I might still be like in this place, you know. But I'm working on that career path still. Well, she's got an MBA, so that Donald Trump's your master's of the dark arts. <sighs> Whatever, man. Lose the chippy attitude, mate. It doesn't suit you. I had a woman for a boss before, actually. Apart from every girlfriend that you've had. Then you're fine, mother daddy. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, right, okay. Anyway, I'm all up for equality in the workplace and all that stuff anyway. It was good to get the interview anyway, though. Mm, yeah, I don't think I got it though, man. Good experience, if anything. It's only good experience if you don't get the job. I suppose so. And another? Yes, please. Pints, pints, pints. See, see, to be totally honest, I wouldn't want to drive to Livingston any quicker than what I needed to. I don't mind it. It's familiar and grim. Is that the boss's car? What, they haven't even given her a new car? <laughs> they actually took a wage cut to go take this job. Hope you weren't talking about me. Uh, no, I was definitely talking about you. Stuart, is it? Yes. Fiona, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Firstly, I'd just like to say that I'm really looking forward to working with you all. I've heard great things about all three of you, and really that's the reason why you've been brought over to my team here at Livingston. Look, I know that you were all loyal to Jim, and things might have been happening a little bit too quickly. Qu quickly? We only found out about this on... Wednesday. It's Wednesday. We only found this on Monday. Yeah, well, I do apologise for that. The negotiations have taken a little bit longer than expected. However, we have managed to secure your jobs and we've protected your pay and your working conditions. I, I, I don't have that in writing. Well, 
I'll get onto HR and find out why the letters weren't sent out. We'd appreciate that. Okay. We've got a lot to cover, and I'd like to discuss the winding down of the Cumbernauld branch and moving you all over here to Livingston. I thought it'd be best if we got together as a team and we discussed things. Get some input. I've got a question. Okay. It was under my impression that the Seenall branch was more profitable than the Levy branch. Okay, I'm afraid I can't answer that. It wasn't me that made the decision. But you do agree that the common old branch was more profitable? The Livingston branch has had a lot of investment over the last five years. I think what Aidan's trying to say here is that this seems like a blunderous hostile takeover orchestrated by a cartel of idiots. Are you kidding? It's... <laughs> we're part of the same company, guys. Well, right now, it does not feel it. Where in Livy is the High Heaton? She should be here to answer for this, uh, this, uh, especially him. Let's start again. Does anyone else have any further issues that they'd like to discuss? Or can we go over these figures? Anybody? Okay, we've got a lot to cover, so Aidan, I suggest that you take a seat. I'm cool, amigo. Aidan, take a seat. And while you're at it, you can kick things off by telling us about the new product that you've been working on. The new intelligent data mining interface. I mean, really? He couldn't even be bothered to get the car cleaned before he left. Right, can I read these figures out to you? Oh, are you there? I am. I thought I'd let you get it off your chest. Yeah, well... It's worse than we thought. I know. I pay you so I don't have to hear about problems. Do you understand? Well, as for that Aiden. Ugh, three words. Get him on side. He has an annoying habit of making things happen. He is Machiavellian? <laughs> well, he has a gargantuan ego, I'll grant you that. Let me explain why he's one of our best salespeople. Hmm. Look, if I need to get rid of him, are you going to support me? Come on, Fiona. You know it won't come to that. Thought you might say that. And that's why you got the job. Thanks for your vote of confidence. You're welcome. Now, is there anything else? Yeah, actually there is. I've got the meeting at Savela to go to on Friday afternoon. And I would prefer to take Danny with me. So, what do you think? You're kidding, right? Get Aiden on the case, honestly. If there's one thing he's good at, it's people. Now, is that all? No, actually. When's this new company car coming? I mean... He Hello? I bet. You're glad. You brought me that gig instead of Danny. <laughs> you loved it. You are so enjoying this. Ah, well, men against boys. What? Or in this case, women against girls. Either way. Anyway, did you pick up on what they were saying about the growth figures in the Baltic states? Do you think he's on me a bit on the side? Uh, maybe, you know, I heard you kick the hobby up. It's not like you, the gossip. It's just something I heard. I did, and I'm about to go into Skyscanner and get us a romantic trip for two over at Riga as we speak. <laughs> Aye, that'll be right. Anyway, they'll be cutting back on jollies. What about high heat, Jim? <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> right, let's go break the news. Pint time. Pint time. Pint time. Pints. Paints, paints on you. You get paid more than me. 
That's the gearbox. Aiden. Sorry. Cheers, big ears. Right, guys, what are we having? 15 pints. Are you not joining us? Yeah, but I'll not be drinking. I've got Amy to pick up. Is that your wee girl? Aye. She's six going on 16. Anyway, some excellent news, guys. Savella are going to pick up the new interface that we've all been working on. So it looks like all the creativity and hard work's finally paid off. That time I spent securing that patent. Sales in my life will never get back. <laughs> I will. Unfortunately for you, Danny, you're going to be the new go-to guy for any IP or copyright. I mean, I personally think you should just retrain as a defence lawyer. Alright, big fan the lawyer, man. It has got a ring to it. Anyway, what's happening this weekend? Well, as you very well know, Fiona, I'm working tomorrow. Oh, I forgot about that, sorry. What about you, Aidan? Oh, he's most likely meeting Tinderella. Tinderella? Uh, her name's Sophie, alright? I've spoke to her like three, three times already, alright? On Tinder. There might, there might have been some form of like social media dating application thing involved in the process. What's, the, what's the second name? There's like a, there's definitely an A in it. An A in it, aye. There's an A in it. Well, I said, ignore the pair of them, he's probably taking his mum in it. Aye, he's a good boy. Well, Stuart, why don't you enlighten the table about what your hobbies entail this weekend? No, Aiden. Yes. Really? Anything that you want to share? No, if you want to. He's into cosplay. Really? That's brilliant. Who's your character? It's two characters, actually. Alright. Oh, Wasn't expecting that one. But hey, it suits you. He's on even prescription. Well, we all survived the first week. Well done, Fiona. Well done, Danny and Stuart. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. We'll all get a big blowout at the end of the month when Fiona finally pays us off.